Hey, what's up, guys? It's Phil Trigger here, and today I'm gonna come at you with another game theory video. Uh, sorry, I sound a little weird. I just got up. <laughs> um, anyways, so today I want to cover the superior rides. Superior rides are a mechanic that's either good or bad, depending on which clan you use it in. Uh, Royal Paladins they have a really broken superior ride, which is with uh, Barkle. In Kagros, they have a really trashy and stupid and pointless and uh, adopted <laughs> uh, superior ride with Kagros. Um, so I'm going to explain both of them and see and show you guys why one's good and why one's not. Alright, so first let's start off with the Barkle one. Barkle can be the starting vanguard, so you always have your superior ride off, no matter what. He's always there. You ride him, call him to the rear guard, tap, or rest. Call it either a Flogal or a Lou. It's more recommended you get the Flogal, because you could, you could go into a Lou during that first turn drive check. Uh, if not, it's whatever. But anyways, you call, boom, get a uh, Flogal. Next turn, you stand it up, get Lou, counterblast one. That counterblast is inherent, meaning your opponent will always try to attack you uh, first turn. I mean, why wouldn't they? It's free cards. So they attack you, you get that free damage. <laughs> okay, bro. And then boom, you counterblast, and you go into your grade two. The next turn, you can go into your grade three. So essentially, in most World Paladin decks, you can go, you can uh, basically start with out of grade two, which is perfect. Uh, it always gets you that ride, and it's so good. It doesn't serve any purpose other than add consistency to the deck. Um, and in some wacky cases, if your opponent gets like two trigger, two uh, critical triggers in a row, you can counterblast one, get out blaze, uh, blazing fire, get out um, uh, blaster blade, counterblast two, knock off a unit. You know that's just in very sucky situations. But overall, uh, superior rides like Barkle are very very good, just because they do give you that advantage. And really, it's just free cards. I mean, you can go boom, free card, boom, free card, boom, free card. Uh, you don't lose anything. In the you don't lose any advantage overall. You just go, you gain one. You say, well, okay, five cards in hand. You ride one, okay, with the five cards plus this one that was six. You take one card out of your hand to add to the field. That's uh, your vanguard. Plus Barkle comes to the back. That's still six cards you have in total. You rest Barkle. You get a free card. That's seven cards. Next turn you can do it again. Get another free card. That's um, nine cards because you drew for your turn. Now you give up three cards, you go back down to six. So overall, you didn't waste any cards. You gained three, and yeah, it's it's so good. Like, it's so amazing. I wish Cogros had this stuff, but we don't, because we're not Royal Paladins, and we're not lucky, and eh. <laughs> Anyways, okay, let's get on to the Aleph one. This is what bugs me the most. Most people, when they start the game or when they see Cogros, they're like, oh my god, I can superior on, yay! Bad, no, bad player, bad kid. This is why they're bad. Okay, first off, you cannot search any of the pieces at all. You have to be lucky and you have to draw into your grade 2. In Kagros, they go like this, the grade 2, the grade 0, and the grade 1. The grade 0 will always be a trigger. Uh, for the Aleph chain, it'll be a critical trigger, which is terrible. And for the Blazing Flare chain, it'll be a draw trigger. Meh, okay. So... <laughs> you have to get this piece along with that you have to get the grade zero and you have to get the grade one and you have to have them all in the field and then you have to clan blast one to add them into soul and they get your grade three that seems like way too much commitment and remember you only have two turns to accomplish this turn one you're right into your grade one you have to pray it's not the grade one you need for the piece i mean for the for the chain whatever and then grade two I mean, next turn you have to hope that one, your opponent inflicts one damage. No, make that two damage, because Conro is one way to search out the other pieces. Okay. But anyways, you're right into your grade one. You have one more turn left. You have to top deck this or have it in your hand, plus another piece, and then you search out the last one with Conro. That's still so much to do just for a crappy ride chain. Then you ride into this, use defect, da 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 Okay, let me do this in mathematics, all right? So let's say we have five cards again, plus my Vanguard, all right? Uh, well, let's just make this our vanguard. This is our grade one, all right? We have five cards plus the elf, which should be overturned. <laughs> Anyways, and we have the other, two, the other uh, two pieces. So, instead of simply writing where we have five cards, all right, do a drive check, we're back at six. That's cool. Instead, with a superior ride, you have to do this. You have five cards in hand, one card. So that's a total of six cards in your card pool. You ride. Okay. That's still... I mean, you just nagged yourself one, so that's five cards. You call out the other two units, that's two cards in hand. Ow, all right? 
then you counterblast one, you shove those into soul, you're still <laughs> at two cards in hand, and then, boom, you attack with the grade three now, you gain two cards. So unless one of those trigger, one of those cards is a draw trigger, you're still you're at four cards. All right. So overall, you could have saved at least one card simply by riding and attacking. Wait, yeah. I mean, you would have still been at six cards, but no, you have to commit all those cards. Uh, you know, five cards in hand, one. Neg one. That's four. Boom. That's five. You're wasting so much time doing a superior ride, and it doesn't serve any purpose. The grade three isn't really that good either way. Aleph. He can overturn damage. I'll give him that. But his first skill is just trash. It's too much of a cost, and Gancelot can do it so much better. Uh, Blazing Flare, on the other hand, it doesn't even set up his soul. That's even the worst part of it. Uh, Blazing Flare can be as a standalone Vanguard, which doesn't even need the Superior Ride. So, when you're going to Superior Ride, just don't. If you have a deck, unless it's Aleph, because Aleph does need the Superior Ride, don't build it around the Superior Ride. It's a waste of time, it negs you cards, and honestly, I'm surprised people even win with it. It's that bad. Uh, but yeah, this wraps up this <laughs> this very passionate um, game theory video. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you later. Peace.